Maybe you've heard by now, Xfinity has increased its data speeds for several of its more affordable plans. Here are the changes. They're for both new and existing customers. Xfinity says customers will not pay more for the faster speeds, but the service did just raise prices not that long ago. That's number one today, but there's a whole lot more you need to know before you sign up for Xfinity Internet. Let's dive in. Number two, does Xfinity still make you sign a contract? Well, the answer is Xfinity now offers plans with a contract and plans without a contract. You can see that from the plan builder I've got shown on the screen. Offers will vary by region, but plans with a contract are slightly cheaper. Contract or no contract, new customers will get a promotional rate. So what that means is the low price you see when you sign up, it'll increase over time, usually after a year or two. And aside from these plans, Xfinity has a program called Xfinity Essentials. It offers basic home internet service for as low as $10 a month. You must meet eligibility requirements, and I'll have a link below for you to check. Number three, equipment fees. Xfinity has recently adjusted its offers, and you may now see equipment included with your internet plan. Of course, there's a catch. This is usually for a limited time, like 12, maybe 24 months. The normal rental price for Xfinity's Gateway, well, it's up to $15 a month at recording time. Just one reason why a lot of people buy their own equipment after their promo period ends. Now these equipment fees are a big problem for a lot of people. And that's especially true when 5G home internet services from T-Mobile and Verizon are becoming more widely available. With both of those services, your Wi-Fi gateway is included in the monthly plan price. We're up to number four. And in many markets, Xfinity's internet plan comes with a data cap, 1.2 terabytes per month. Now this is not an issue for most households. Xfinity says only a small percentage go over that limit. The service does offer you a courtesy month, so you won't have to pay more the first time that you exceed the data limit. But after that first time, overage charges can get really expensive really fast. So for that reason, heavy data users will most likely want to upgrade to unlimited data. With XFi Complete, you can get your Wi-Fi gateway and unlimited data the price at the time of this recording, an extra $25 a month. I mentioned those increased data speeds at the top of this video, so now let's talk a little bit more about your options. Here you see plans ranging from 150 megabits per second to 2000 megabits per second. Xfinity and other internet providers are heavily marketing gig speed internet plans. These are just not necessary for most households, and they would include the three plans you see here. From my experience, Xfinity's more affordable Connect More and Fast plans, well, they're adequate for most households, streaming TV, gaming, smart devices, and browsing the web. Recently, an Xfinity salesperson talked someone I know into getting the super fast plan, this one with 800 megabits per second. I recommended that they downgrade to the fast plan, now 500 megabits per second. They did, and they told me they haven't noticed any difference with their internet performance. The only difference, their monthly bill is a little bit lower. In my beginner's guide to cutting the cord, I suggest starting with an internet plan that has download speeds between 200 and 400 megabits per second. And households that do a lot of gaming may want a 400 to 600 megabits per second plan. Keep in mind, if you sign up for a more affordable plan and it doesn't meet your household's needs, you can always log into your Xfinity account and upgrade later on. Now to number six, Xfinity Mobile. And this is probably the best thing going for Xfinity. The wireless service has grown to more than 6 million customers since it launched in 2017. I was one of those early customers. I tested the service and used it as my primary line for two full years. Adding Xfinity Mobile will lower your internet bill. And that discount, well, it's going to vary depending on the plan that you buy. Xfinity Mobile uses Verizon's network and Xfinity's Wi-Fi hotspots for coverage. The monthly pricing at recording time, well, I've got it listed for you here. And if you want an unlimited plan, the service is a better value when you've got at least two lines of service. Another thing I like about Xfinity Mobile, the phone deals, far better than most low-cost providers. Xfinity Mobile is only for Xfinity internet customers, so don't get this service if you plan to leave Xfinity anytime soon. Number seven is Now TV. This is an add-on to Xfinity Internet that's targeting cord cutters who don't want an expensive pay TV bundle. Now TV, it's $20 a month at recording time, and you get 40 live channels and Peacock Premium. I reviewed this service shortly after it launched, and Now TV is able to offer that cheap bundle price, 
because it doesn't carry major sports networks, cable news channels, or your local stations. There's nothing wrong with Now TV. I just don't see it as a solution for a whole lot of people, and I have a hard time recommending this service over competitors like Philo and Friendly TV. Those are two low-cost services that I really like. Xfinity has been losing customers to 5G home internet services, so increasing these data speeds, it's a step in the right direction. But there are still a few things that Xfinity customers need to be aware of. Those who agree to a contract typically get the best pricing. Your bill will likely go up after a year or two when that promo period ends. Equipment fees may be waived for new customers, but only temporarily. And in some areas, you will need to pay more for unlimited data. I've put together a comprehensive guide to help you find the best internet service for your household. I'll link to that down below in the description. Plus, I update internet deals on michaelsavesdeals.com.